to read free broadside. My father taught me the importance of family and hunting. As I look around, so many memories, so many stories to tell. Every animal has a story. The highs, the lows, the ups, the downs, the joys of success and the, the hurt of failure, the hope and the despair. That's an ancient Saskatchewan buck. Did you see that? for over 40 years now, and we're just getting started. Love the fall, love hunting deer, what hunter doesn't? But I also love hunting the mountains, which makes me a little bit jealous that I'm not the hunter in today's show. Hi, I'm Jim Shockey, and welcome to the show. Today, you'll be headed up to our Rogue River outfitting territory in the Yukon, to go after one of the most difficult of all the big game species to hunt in North America, the majestic doll sheep. July 30th, we're uh, here at our villa in Mayo, getting ready to uh, get to the plane. Uh, everybody's packed up now. Just got a couple little odds and ends we're putting together and then we're heading over to the uh, airport. We're, we got a scheduled departure at eight o'clock, 7 a.m. now. So an hour to go and we're we're on our way into the bush. Start the sheep hunt. Two days till uh, opening day, our favorite day of the year. It's my first sheep hunt, so not entirely sure what to uh, expect. I've been on a goat hunt before and uh, been with guys that have shot sheep before, but uh, anxious to see what it's like being the hunter. Well, we've uh, landed at the lake we needed to get to. So next stop is uh, we're going to Argo from here, overland a couple hours to the boat, then we're going to get on the river. I see it's really high and it's moving fast. So we've got a kind of a jet boat river trip downstream, maybe uh, 30 kilometers and uh, until we get to where we think we're going to start hiking up the mountain. Ooh, that's high. That's really high. Man, that is moving. Oh, this water is up 15 feet in more than they expected, and, and it is hauling. Yeah, this doesn't look like a safe crossing. That's not looking good. We gotta be safe here. So Kyle's gonna ferry the rope across. We're gonna hook the winch up, and once we get a winch hooked up to that a, a tree on the other side, then it'll be able to pull us. We need that winch on it. Wolder, we need that winch hooked up. I'll get it. Uh, unhook it? Yep. It's coming out. <laughs> Good. Oh, that's deep. Holy. Oh, man. Can I get a yeehaw? Uh, we're definitely not going to get to the top of the mountain tonight, so we still have to get to the boat, get it going, get down river to a camping spot, so there's still a journey ahead. We're getting ready to jump in the river boat. We're going to boat down about 15 miles, and uh, Wojo and Kyle are taking off on us. They did a great job getting us here this morning. We're gonna try and get to a camp tonight. We're just gonna stay by the riverbank, have a look at the mountain in the morning, then make the assault on it sometime tomorrow. We're gonna make camp here for the night. We got the mountain, like a really good span of the mountain here. We already found uh, uh, some ewes and lambs, which is nice, and we'll, uh, we'll get camp set up, get a fire going spread some food out and uh, we'll just continue to glass and, and see if we can find any rams before we hit the hay. 
Jim Shockey's Hunting Adventures is brought to you by Nosler, Upfront. Primos, speak the language. Stealth Cam, proven quality, reliability, performance, proven. SCI, first for hunters. Bookyourhunt.com, fair chase, fair price. And by Sightlight, there is no comparison. Ready? One, two, two three. Don't, don't go away. Right back with Jim Showcase, Showcase Adventure. Adventure. Yeah. It is. <laughs> if you want to see behind the scenes footage and be updated day to day on what Evie and I are up to, just follow us on our Facebook and Instagram pages. Closed captioning brought to you by Argo. Go hunt, go fish, go play. Argo, go anywhere. It's time for SCI's Outfitter Chronicles. This week, we're going to talk about the Grand Slam of North American sheep. Outfitter Chronicles, brought to you by SCI. First for hunters. I believe it was Gransel Fitz, the outdoor writer from back in the 30s and 40s who first coined the phrase, the Grand Slam of North American sheep. Gransel felt if you took one of each of the North American sheep species, a Rocky Mountain bighorn sheep, a desert bighorn sheep, a stone sheep, and a doll sheep, that was akin to hitting a grand slam in baseball. At last count, there are nearly 2,000 hunters from around the world who have completed the North American grand slam of sheep. You see him? Yes. Got him. We set out at the beginning of this, Donnie and Wojo and Taylor and Rich and myself, to prove that there's sheep in this mountain range based on a story, a story that came through Donnie's forefathers. And now we have this ram on this mountain, so the, the elastic band is pulling hard and tight right now. It's about to snap back. We're running out of daylight, and we've got to get back. If you want to learn more about the Grand Slam of North American sheep, or in fact, learn about any of the wild sheep from around the world, do yourself a favor and pick up a set of SCI's record books. There's information in those books that'll make you a lot better sheep hunter. Now, back to the show. So uh, July 31st today, tomorrow's opening day. We found uh, some rams last night when we got to the camp spot that we've chosen on the river here. Got up this morning and just kind of glassing this hill to figure out a bit of a plan of attack. We'll probably stay put here for the day and keep an eye on them and, and go after them tomorrow. Opening day tomorrow, hunting season in the Yukon starts August 1. Today is opening day of sheep season. August 1 up here really signals the, the opening of all species, really. Pretty exciting day for residents and non-residents alike to be able to get out in the land and start looking to fill the freezer and participate in the, in the pursuits of an outdoor lifestyle that we all love. It's, it's one of those days for me that's marked on the calendar and has been since I've been 10 years old. You don't have anything else planned August 1st except hunting, and here we are. Sheep's one of those, one of those animals where every ram you take is earned. There's no easy sheep. You know, I don't think there's any such thing as an unsuccessful sheep hunt, even if you come off the mountain without one, because uh, the effort and determination and energy you have to put into it really becomes a reward in itself. And so many people get out on those mountains in pursuit of a ram and find something very different about the achievement they get from it. So yeah, it's one of those hunts that, that you just can't replicate until you're on top of the mountain. It's really hard to describe, but Without a doubt, uh, when you pursue these high mountain animals, uh, you definitely have a reward when you're done. So it's, it's something that draws people in. They, they know they've earned something when they finish this kind of hunt. It gets in your blood, it's a tough one to explain, but once it gets in your blood, you're, you, you can't stop. We're definitely at the elevation now where, where we're in the hunt. There's definitely sheep sign below us and lots of trails cutting around the elevation we're at. So it's kind of place where, you know, anywhere you're walking, you literally could see a sheep within range. So it's all eyes open now. When you're 
coming up into these mountains like this, I prefer to do sort of short pushes and short breaks. 10 minutes of hiking, two minutes resting, 10 minutes of hiking. Uh, just people move better that way. How you doing? It's a workout though. Why do you love guiding? For the moment, it's just like this. Get yourself out in the mountains. No one else around. Testing yourself. Learning about the natural environment that we live in. We're now just about to get into the steep stuff. Right here is gonna get real. Heads up. right now, like, just to get to the top. On a scale of one to 10, how dangerous would you say this is? Most dangerous I've ever done. I don't know if it's gotta be like an eight, eight plus. We're about 30 yards from the top of the mountain. We don't spook anything. This is exactly where we saw those rams, about 90 yards away. So I'm kind of hoping that they're in, in a close area on the back side of this mountain here. So we're gonna have a look. Maybe find some rams. Be awesome. See a smaller ram down here. Two days ago, we saw three together. One was about the size of this guy. He's not. He's not a legal ram, but he might be with those other ones. So we're having a good luck to see. If we're able to see a legal ram in this group, we'd go off to our left and go down the ridge. That's above them. We just stay on the back side of that ridge. Now we can get ourselves within 100 yards of the sheep, but he's not legal, so um, if he's with a legal ram, that's exactly what we're gonna do. He's a good looking ram. There's a third one. There's a third one. Yeah, this is that group. We got they had three rams. They were just along the edge of that cliff, which I suspect they're up feeding now. That big ram. This week's Stealth Cam Photo of the Week was submitted by Joe Zittergrun. Now, Joe, I can't tell if it's a raven or a crow, but I can tell that your Stealth Cam takes an amazing photograph. You can literally see every feather on this flying bird.
stands the one on the right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna shoot, he's standing up, ready? Not a good shot yet, though. Okay. How about now? Yeah. Broadside to you. So wait for the broadside. Jim Shockey's Hunting Adventures is brought to you by Cabela's, world's foremost outfitter. Powered by Ram Trucks, proven to last. Yeti, built for the wild. Leupold, American to the core. Thompson Center Arms and Bowtech. Wait for the broadside. What happened? Disney? Yeah. Give me another one. Ben Ram, baby. Day one of the season. Wow, man, shooting. Man. Great shot. What a marathon day. I've been training for this hunt for six months. This was like, I turned 40 this year, and I was like, some people get a new sports car, and I was like, no, I'm, I'm gonna go on a sheep hunt and see if I can do it, so. There he is, down there. I found oh. it. Unbelievable, you're gonna see your horn before your ram. A good legal ram, so. An awesome, bud. One unbelievable day, man. I like. That's a day for the record books. First sheep ever. Jim Shockey's Rogue River Outfitters was guide extraordinaire, Ryan Leaf. That was a marathon day. I know you run marathons, but I didn't think you'd put us through a marathon up here on this mountain. Man, I'm glad we we went with going for him, eh? Like, you were pretty sure he was legal, and we closed in on him, and then you, could, uh, you were able to tell. Couldn't be happier. Awesome. Thanks, Ryan. Well, nice what a hunt, man. Yeah, nicely done. Congratulations. I'm real happy with this ram. She's gonna be an all-nighter because it is now 12.08 a.m. <laughs> Sleep out here tonight if we need to. Yeah, we will end up sleeping in the trees somewhere. Meat's packed, everything's caped out. Now we're gonna head downhill. We're not going back to camp tonight. I don't think it's too far, we're too exhausted. So we're gonna try and find water, get some timber so we can start a fire, stay warm tonight. We're protected in here from the wind and we don't really know the route back from here, what it's like, so I'd rather do that in daylight. We're all pretty exhausted. There is no meat like wild meat, especially wild meat cooked over a campfire. First time having sheep tonight. Can't wait, it hurts. One of the best wild game out there to eat. That sheep meat is amazing. Good call cooking that. Most mountain hunters would agree that a backpack thinhorn sheep hunt, that's doll sheep, stone sheep, or fannin sheep up in Alaska, Yukon, Northwest Territories, or Northern British Columbia, is the most physically challenging of any hunt you can do around the world. So if you think you're up to that challenge, ready to test yourself, email me at hunt at jimshockey.com and we'll set you up. We'll see how you do when the going gets tough. One thing I will tell you, when that last day rolls around of the hunt, you will know that you've been on the hunt of a lifetime. Now, don't go away. We've got the Cabela's preview of next week's show coming right up. It's time for the Cabela's preview of next week's hunting adventure. We'll be headed to Texas, where Eva will be using her bow tech to go after white-tailed deer. Ton of action this morning. It's only 7.30. Texas. Oh, congratulations, Evie. Thanks. What a fantastic, fantastic Texas buck. If you want to book a moose hunt with us up in our Rogue River outfitting territory or a black bear hunt with us on Vancouver Island, we have spots available right now. Just email me at hunt at jimshockey.com or call us on our toll-free number. 